All right, one week of overcoming anxiety. Just wanted to post a little update here. Um, I was trying to do the daily thing, but schedule's kind of busy, so here's a weekly update for you. Um, it's been going well. It's It's been going pretty well. Um, uh, just wanted to go over some of the things I've been working on. I'm still working on the uh, trying to greet people by name. That's that's going fairly well. I think I miss. I think I had one day where I didn't really get anyone, but then I got someone the next day. I think I got two people yesterday. Um, or at least I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying, bro. I'm trying. Okay. Um, I've been working on that. And other than that, I'm I'm asking a lot more people like, "How are you? How you doing?" Like I used to do that anyway, but now it's more intentional. I'm getting better at following up with uh, conversation topics. Um, one of the things I uh, the book went over. You know, if you're new here. Uh, like one of the, like one of the main things is just getting out of your head. Like instead of thinking n word, think outward. Like focus more on everything around you and I've been trying to do that more they got this trick called the attention switch where basically um like you think n-word for three minutes like think of um you know just think of your thoughts what thoughts are you thinking <laughs> um and um like how hungry are you how just all your inner feelings kind of like meditation I suppose and then after three to five minutes, you switch it and you start thinking outward. And like, notice, like, notice what objects do you see? How does the light reflect off of them? Just stuff like that. Again, sounds like meditation. Probably is meditation. But the uh, the trick is you're supposed to like um, train yourself to switch your attention. So like, when you catch yourself. I guess being anxious and like thinking N word and like being self conscious, you switch your attention to the outside and like you're noticing other people and you're supposed to adopt like a sense of curiosity and that's supposed to help you with like your uh, conversation topics, I guess. And I've been trying to do that. I like every day on my way to work, I'll like try the attention switch. Maybe not the best place to do the N word thinking, but I'm, I'm pretty careful with it. And, um, See, it seems to be working pretty well for me. Um, I haven't gotten really good at it during, like, conversation. With converse, with conversation, I try to, like, before I even have the conversation, I'll go and, like, try to think outward. Like, if I know I'm going to be talking to someone. But it's, it, that's been going pretty well. Um, and then not only am I, like, asking, uh, asking people how you doing more often, I'm asking more people how you doing and good mornings and greetings and stuff like that like before is just like the handful of people i was like comfortable with like people i work around closely or stuff like that now it's now i'm starting to expand it like um like if i'm like if i'm just walking to somewhere and someone's passing by man it's not just a or not just a awkward mess I'll actually greet that person and like totally defuse the awkwardness right on the spot and um it's been working pretty well cuz like you know it, 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 like the the change cuz usually usually okay so another thing the book goes over is like other people have you know everyone gets anxiety like obviously to varying degrees so like you know probably this person's probably like nervous or awkward too you take that first step and you're like hey good morning and like they, a lot of times what i've noticed is they instantly like light up like hey and like have a little conversation i've, I've noticed a like people are just a lot more cheerful now when i'm talking to them and i think that's really cool um you know before it was just you or you know stuff like that I'm exaggerating now it's like now it's like hey good morning so and so uh how you doing oh that's good yeah i'm doing this and this and this and just yeah and so what what about that and, and it's been it's been really fun i'm like you know definitely trying to work on my conversation topics more um want to get even better at greeting people by name but i think it's going pretty well i've gotten i've gotten i'm averaging like one a day I think I got two a day yesterday, something like that. But it's going well. I want to know how things are going with you, too. Like, um, 
Have you noticed any improvement at all? Um, another thing that's really helped me that might help you out is basically the goal setting, I guess. You know, because the greeting people by name is one of my goals. I wanted to get three in one day. I'm building myself up to it, again, I guess. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but that's working pretty well. And then, uh, uh, just I, I, I've uh, I've been kind of slacking on this part, but uh, again, the, uh, some of the book mentions kind of just journaling out your your wins and like um, like be specific about uh, how does anxiety make you feel, what do you want to change, and stuff like that. But um. Uh, even if you just go and like make a YouTube video like this, I think that would be cool. If you know, we'll start like a uh, not a compilation collaboration or like start a movement out of this or something like just weekly. Hey, I was struggling with this. I did this. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling now. But yeah, that's what I've been working on: greeting people by name, greeting more people, more how you doing, and just trying to get better at conversation. I really, really want to be able to get good enough at this beating social anxiety to, like, really just create more opportunities, because, like, to be honest, I don't, I don't you know, I, I feel like I could climb further up the ladder or find better, uh, yeah, just better opportunities if I was able to talk more and not be so socially anxious, um, I'm sure a lot of you you feel that way too. You know, I, I feel like we're all a lot of us are in the same boat. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're like the richest person in the world. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Uh, what else is there? Uh, yeah, that's pretty. That, I, I guess that's pretty much it on my end for right now. It's it's been a, it's been a, it's been a fun week. It's been a fun week. Um, again, let me know how things are going in your life. If you have any goals you've been crushing, and we'll we'll be down there to support you because you're awesome. I appreciate you being here. It's kind of a small, more hidden channel. And like if you actually like found this, I'm I'm noticing like the YouTube studio. Uh, a lot of the traffic is coming from people from people searching like social anxiety and how to beat social anxiety. I don't have the answer yet. Best I can tell you is check out the book overcoming social anxiety and shyness by Jillian Butler. And this is the one I've been working on. Cause I saw it mentioned in a lot of Reddit threads. Uh, another one you might check out is the, is the uh, social anxiety workbook by, uh, I think it was Edmund something. And I think there's another one it's, it's has his workbook in the name. Just search anxiety workbook. And I'm sure you'll see both of them. I haven't gotten those yet. Haven't tried them out, but I've heard they're good. Like I've, I was scrolling through a lot of Reddit trying to uh, fix my problem. I don't know. I don't remember where I saw the recommendation for this one, but like a lot of people were saying like, yeah, it really helped me. Uh, I noticed instant improvement. Not even finish the book, and I'm noticing improvement. That that seems how it's to be how it's going for me. I noticed I was going to wrap up the video a few minutes ago. I'm trying to get better at that, but uh, anyways, uh, hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.